<laughs> Let's see if it's up there. There's a there's a sparkly thing. Look at that sparkly thing. We gotta get this sparkly thing. Stupid nameless flower fate. <laughs> that started off so bad. Stupid nameless flower seeds. Hmm. No one here. Guess it's just a. Uh, it's like how we took off earlier. Uh. Let's try Fodra. Damn. It. Uh. I don't know. I, mean, I don't feel like wasting time with that. <clears throat> Let me drink some water. <sighs> Sorry about that. Alright. So, I guess she went to the second floor. Unless she's hiding out somewhere. Oh, oh I guess we found her. Hey, come back, little girl. We just want to hang out. We just want to be friends. Let's throw Sophie at her. Maybe she'll l realize who we are. Seriously, like, like let's liter literally throw Sophie at her. Hey, it's a person. She's not breathing and she has no pulse, but I don't think she's dead. Did you bring these people here, Sai? Uh, okay. She is alive. And who might you all be? My name is Asbel Lant. My friends and I came here from a different world. Yeah, let's just throw that out there. It's not, it's not important. A different world? Do you mean Ephinia? Does that mean the seal has finally been broken? Ephinia? <clears throat> no. How odd. Then how, may I ask, did you arrive here? We flew here in a shuttle created by my ancestors. Although it kind of broke when we landed. <laughs> I see. So you oh, must sorry. be an Amarcian. I guess, uh, she was laughing. <laughs> but yeah. That's me! But how do you know about the Amarcians? Is there some kind of connection between us and Fodra? There is, yes. So are you, a? Uh... Fodrin? Yes, I am. My name is Emerod. Forgive me for not making introductions sooner. I never dreamed that I might one day speak to people from Athenia. Is that what you call our world? Athenia must be their name for our homeworld. I appear to have been asleep for quite some time. Do you know how long exactly? Around a thousand years, I believe. Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh, I'm glad we had the same reaction. I had planned to awaken when the chaos on Fodra subsided. I had no idea it might take this long. I'm sorry to be so forward, but we have an urgent question. Do you know this girl? That's Protos Hase, is it not? <laughs> I guess it's common knowledge here. It 
also appears to be malfunctioning. Did you bring this all the way from Athenia? Why are you talking like she's a thing? What do you mean malfunctioning? Could it be that you don't know about Protos Hayes? Protos Hayes is not a human being. <sighs> it is an artificial humanoid soldier created by Phodron scientists. Humanoid? Constructs that resemble people, but are not. Not people. That would explain why she didn't age during the seven years she was missing. I guess that's true. Well, I don't care. She's still Sophie. She's still our friend. Exactly. Sophie is sick, Emerod. And we came here to find a cure. Do you know a way to treat her? Protos Hayes is equipped with a self-healing module, but... Hmm, yes. That seems to be malfunctioning as well. <gasps> that would make sense, actually. A self-healing module? The damage is quite severe. Could it have been Lambda? She knows about Lambda, too. This unit can be repaired, but we must take it to the Humanoid Research Center. However, the center had been overrun by monsters even before I went to sleep. I imagine it's much worse now. Hey, that's what we're here for. Going there will put your lives in grave danger, and Protos Hayes will be unable to defend you. Hey, we got this. Also, even if you reach the center, there is no guarantee that its equipment will still function. Hey, shut up and let's go. It's quite possible that this unit is simply beyond repair. No, it. Uh, no, she's not. Knowing all that, are you still willing to risk your lives for Protos Hayes? Yes. yes. Sophie's our friend, and we do anything to save her. Very well. In that case, I will not attempt to dissuade you further. Yeah, you better There's not. There's a machine in the research center that should be able to repair this unit, although I do not know if it still functions. However, you will be unable to operate the machine without my help, so I will accompany you on your journey. Well, that's great. We appreciate the help. We're always happy to have an Ursaid boobs on on our journey. Meantime, Sai, please get the shuttle to the launch bay and see that it is fully repaired. It would not do to have our guests brave the research center, only to be stranded here in the end. The shuttle's in pretty bad shape, so feel free to whack it around or whatever. Thank you, Emerod. You've already been a tremendous help. Yes, well, I suppose we should be off. Sounds good. Let's check out what this is. <gasps> oh my god, I just fucking died and went to heaven after getting that. Oh shit. I like how that, I like the description. I thought I finally earned the right to die. Well, either way, she's our Sophie, and we have to protect her. We have to save her. I wonder if we can status her. Damn it! I was hoping we could. Well, let's get going. We gotta save her. <clears throat> now I gotta remember how to get out of here. Is all the people are coming out now? Is this like all humanoid crap? Damn it. Uh, where's that elevator? <laughs> Here it is. Let's try going to the second floor. That uh, curiosity. What's here? Just just people? Just people hanging out? Yeah. Yeah, just people. What's that? I wonder if that's important. You can see the world back there. That's so cool. Nah, not really. Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> that's so great. That's great. I like that. Holy crap. Emerald Hope. A world without a pulse. Oh, so that's it. I think I finally just figured out what's been bothering me about this planet. What is it? I felt like something was missing. I mean, besides all the people. But I couldn't put my finger on it. And now you have? 
It's hard to put into words, but... See, on our world, you can sense the life in any living being, even monsters. But the monsters here aren't like that. They lack a certain... spark, I guess. I get what you mean. I think we've all felt something similar ever since we landed here. Plants and animals or any other kind of life form barely exist on this planet at all. I guess that must be why this is here. Yeah, it makes sense that the people who once lived here wanted to preserve any kind of remaining life. I can't imagine what they must have gone through. Our world is so full of life. Being here makes me realize how much I take it for granted. I guess all we can do now is to honor the past and make sure the same mistakes aren't committed again. We have to make sure Athenia doesn't suffer the same fate as Fodra. Makes sense. That's all we can do at this point. Well, let's get going. Records, sir. Cool. So that's what's here. Alright, let's head to the uh, first floor now and we'll get going. I just want to get there so we can save Sophie. Get her eyesight back. It really makes a lot of sense now that we've reached here. The healing module and her just not being a person. Like a machine, I guess. Wow, they even have a guard now. That's great. You know what sucks about this place? There's no turtles. I just realized that. that that's gonna suck later. That is really going to suck. <laughs> no turtles for life. <laughs> and there's just no life in general in this place. And no map. There's also no map. So I have to pray I'm going the right way. I think it's down there. I think we saw it beforehand when we were walking around. I think it's down here. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. You know, if I'm wrong, though, that would suck. Because then we'd have to walk forever to the other way. <laughs> no, I think this is it. This is the Humanoid Research Center? I will warn you again. If you value your life, <sighs> please use extreme caution while inside the Okay. Facility. We're going in. We're saving her. The machines Jesus. So we Sophie. Come on. Let's get inside. Before I made our decision here. Just shut up and let's go. So quiet. All I can hear is my heartbeat. But I'm still alive. Trust will only betray. Hope will only disappoint. We must remove all hope and return it to the planet. To the planet's soul, Lambda. Ah, <sighs> well, I guess they put that in so you don't forget about Richard. <laughs> Makes sense. Humanoid Research Center. Hmm. Also very high tech. Oh no, not the reskin of the Scorpion. What can I ever do? Jesus, look at look at the markings on this guy. <laughs> Man, I'm trying to defend here. Eesh, stop trapping me. There we go. <sighs> All right, what's this? A warp. Okay, let's wait on that. Ah, uh, control device. This wall is a little different from the walls around it, so that could mean that it's a retractable shutter. If that's the case, then there must be a device somewhere that controls it. Yes, let's find it. I'm glad everyone knows how life is in the advanced society, and besides me, forget what I think. 
Okay, so hopefully we'll find a thingy babob for that. Is that it? Yeah, I guess so. See you. We've already touched it, so wouldn't it? Okay, whatever. Done! It's like you already touched it, so why wouldn't it operate? I guess it's like a warning. Do you want to die or do you want to live? Yes. <laughs> oh shit. I didn't think that was a door, it looked like an elevator. A charged battery? I'm gonna take that shit with me. Look at this shit. I'm gonna swap it with the charged battery. <laughs> let's just, let's just swap a charged battery with the charged battery. Yeah, I'm away, sir. Huh? Why are there so many charged batteries? Jesus, haven't they ever heard of goddamn uh wireless? Rechargeable batteries? <laughs> oh no. Yes. I may go back and get a charged battery just in case. Like, fuck it. Huh. Thanks for the charged battery. God! It's like no one even gives a shit around here. I mean, if you have batteries, why don't you have fucking rechargeable batteries so they recharge automatically? Jeez. No. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Ow, ow, ow. Eesh. I'm trapped here. I'm guessing they're... Oh, no, they're not weak to anything. Damn it. I knew I was going to run out of CC for that, but... Oh, well. Stupid Pascal. Stealing all the glory, huh? Think you're the best? Ooh, grape gels. Cool. I need those, actually. I should have restocked on stuff. Oh, well. This unit looks like it's still functional. Ooh, let me see. Yep, still ticking. You know a lot about these things, little bro. I studied them extensively in military school, among other subjects. I had to be at the top of my class. Is that because he had to represent for the glasses wearing crowd? Are you seriously making jokes about my eyewear? Look at this, they're shipping them so hard! No, it's because I considered being anything other than number one was utterly meaningless. Although... Yeah? When I think about it now, it's almost funny. What is? At first, I worked hard to please my adoptive father. Later, it was to get back at Lont. Because they sent you off to be adopted? Exactly. I struggled to accept the, the truth of my adoption at first. But once I did, I was furious at Lont. And my father. They were all I could think about. <laughs> it's like they say, mother is the ne necessity of invention. Um. Sure. I, I don't even know how that would ever apply to that, but sure. <laughs> Though I admit to being quite shocked when I came back to Lont. How come? Once I came into power, I saw just how difficult my father's job was. Lont's p political position has always been quite... Jeez, I can't read today. Precarious, after all. So why didn't you quit? Honestly, I don't know. I guess I wanted to prove to the world that I could do the job. So would, so you could have revenge and stuff? I don't think that was it. And I don't think it was because of Lant, or, well, I don't think it was because Lant was my hometown or that it was an important strategic point for Strata. I think it was just testing my own heart. Hmm. 
Maybe it's something even more basic than that. Like what? Pfft, I can't tell you. The world totally, that would totally ruin it. What is that? You'll understand in time. Don't worry about it. If you say so. Drive unit. Okay. Jeez, I couldn't read for shit. <laughs> I like messed up so many times in that. It's crazy. All right. So um, let's head this way. I was like, uh, which way did I come from again? It's usually the left. Not many games. And you don't really come from the right in many games, so... Unless they, like, have hallways like this, where you have to go right. But, I mean, at the very beginning, you don't have... Very many times where you go, like, to the left. Yeah, I meant to the left, not to the right. I don't know, do you even know what I'm talking about? I'm being stupid. Jeez, a freak! Fucking mole stuff. It's like shit. Why do I even bother? Just throw Pascal out. It's like whatever. Look at that. Bam. Even though it didn't do that much, but still. Level up. Nice. 